welcome to Style Off. On today's show, we've scoured the high street to bring you the best botanical inspired buys and checking out how to recreate the look in your own home. So now, loads of celebs are rocking this trend. Take a look at this picture of Blake Lively. She's got insect jewelry here, this kind of butterfly pendant on. Yeah, you know what? Love it or hate it, insect inspired jewelry is everywhere this year. What do you think of it? I really like it. I think Blake looks gorgeous. And I think that in terms of homes and interiors, there's some really, really gorgeous buys out there. There's some really lovely stuff. Yeah, you know what? I'm a bit cautious about this trend. I absolutely hate bugs. And I just don't know that I want to fill my home with them. I spend enough time trying to get rid of them. But you know what? There are a few aspects of this trend that I do like maybe. We'll take a look at this relaxed bedroom because this is a really good example of getting the look right. Leafy prints, um, botanical wall art, and a kind of cool palette of greens, yellows, and browns make this room feel really fresh and relaxed. Yeah, I agree. And there's not a bug in sight, but it's really easy to get the look wrong as well. Take a look at this. Botanical overload, whoa. God, and is that a dead bird on the sideboard? Ew, no thanks. Okay, so we've hunted down some of the best buys on the high street. So Steph, let's start with you. Well, as you know now, I absolutely love this trend, so I can't wait to show you my first buy, which is this beautiful wallpaper. It's called Insects, and it's designed by Vivian Westwood for Cole and Son. Um, now it's 67 pounds a roll, but look at that intricate design, isn't it beautiful? I love the silvery metallic sheen, but it's only when I get close up that the bugs spook me out a bit. So I think it's pretty, but I don't think it'll be making an appearance in my home. Wow. I think I've actually found a product that you sort of like. Uh, maybe. Okay, so what's your next one? I hate bugs, as you know, but I love butterflies. So I found this version from Home Barn. It's 120 pounds, which it's not to everyone's taste, but I really love the vibrant oranges and reds. And also I think it looks a little bit gothic, which is a style I quite like as well. Do you know what? I think that's why I don't like it. And to me, it's too in your face. And I also, I just wouldn't want to hang dead, actual dead insects on my wall. Well, at least they're pretty. True. Well, my next pick is this botanical garden plate from Port Merion. Now, this is a classic design that's been around for years. And in my opinion, it's beautiful. You can actually pick up four dinner plates for 42 pounds from Tesco. So it's not crazy expensive like all of your products. Well, just because something's a classic doesn't mean it should be popular. I mean, this is inoffensive enough, but I don't know, it's a bit dull to me. Where's the glitz and the glamour? Calm down, not everything can be studded with crystals. Well, you're gonna love my next product, or maybe not. So I've chosen this amazing Baroque chair from Sweet Pea and Willow. It's 445 pounds, so it's not cheap, but it's definitely got the wow factor. 445 pounds for a plastic chair? It looks like some sort of kid's novelty item. No, that's definitely not for me. I can totally see this in an amazing grand scheme or even a stately home or something. Stately home? What, what sort of stately home? I can hardly imagine the, the team at Chatsworth kicking out the great dining room with that. You are so short-sighted. Well, my next pick is this beautiful cushion from William Morris. Mm -hmm. Now, this is an archive print called Strawberry Thief and you can get it in different colourways. This is £35 from John Lewis, and it's another classic. I know how much you love classics, Nat. Hmm, well, you know what? Again, this is perfectly inoffensive, but to me it just looks a bit faded. Well, you know you can get it in different colourways. You know what? Either way, it's just really nothing stand out about it at all for me. Okay, so what's your next pick? Okay, so up next, I have this really simple but effective bell jar. And you can put any sort of display in here actually, maybe a plant or just a little eclectic collection of items. I think it's really sweet and it looks like a scientist laboratory sort of item as well and a little bit vintage. Yeah, I really like it. I like that vintage quality that it has. And it's from Graham and Green and it's only £38, so it's cheap too. Okay now, you ready to do our bargains of the week? Born ready. And I am really excited about my bargain this week. It's this Pelianthus goblet from Anthropology, and it's six pounds. So it's bold, it's colorful and useful, and it's dirt cheap. Okay, well, my bargain of the week is four pound 32. So I beat you on price. 
and it's this pretty mug from Laura Ashley and the design is actually called Queen Mary which was done by Duncan Grant from the famous Bloomsbury set. Well you might beat me on the price Steph but I think I win on the star stakes in this show. You keep telling yourself that Nat. Mm. Anyway that's all from us but we'll be back soon with more great products. Mm.